here at One Group in Syracuse, New York. This morning we have with us Michelle Miller from Sweeney Electric. Uh, good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Brett. How are you? I'm good as always. <laughs> Thank you for coming in and taking the time. We appreciate it. Um, this morning I thought we'd discuss a couple of issues you face in regards to insurance over the years um, and some solutions that have eased those. So what are some of the issues that you face? One of the issues that we faced um, was certificates not being given to our customers quick enough when they requested them. Yeah. And since I've come over to one group, it's not been an issue. I send an email out and usually within an hour or at least no later than end of the day, all of my customers have everything they need. That's, that's awesome because I know in construction specifically, it, it's a huge issue. So that process is working well. It, it goes through email. Um, you can also stop a project from going on. So yeah. for the customer to have it, we can't even get our guys on site without those certificates. Yeah. So it is very important. Now, do you ever see any issues where they might hold payment until until the certs and make sure you meet all contract requirements? Um, usually it has to be there before we can even have a discussion. Before you get on the job site. Right, because okay. they want to make sure you have the coverage to make sure you're, you're going to be okay with everything. <laughs> Um, also, another thing, I know that in the past we've always gone over the construction premium adjustment program um, credit on your workers' compensation. Uh, that's something we review annually, and uh, I'm just wondering what that's meant to you guys in the past. Oh, it's been a huge savings. Um, every year it seems to fluctuate, but this year, I mean, we've got like a, almost a 14% savings, which is phenomenal. Um, that's a huge amount of money saved on our expenses every year that we can hopefully count on a big cut every year with. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll continue. Yeah, no, and that's the thing. It's it's a layup that most people, um, I shouldn't say most, some people don't even know it's out there. And it's pretty simple. It's just a one-page application. Yep, it's just looking at your payroll within the time frame and giving them the information they need with the codes. And if you don't know it, you can call them. They'll give you the codes you need. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that 14%, I mean, that drives down overhead. It tightens up all the bids. That's something that can either go directly back into the profit margin or reinvest it into the company. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good, good. That's great. Um, one other thing, um, workers' comp pay as you go. I know this is something that we set up uh, years ago. Um, tell me why that works for you. Oh, well, the first thing is when you're doing a workman's comp every year when the renewal comes up, you always had to come up with a large sum of money. Mm. And for contractors, that can definitely be a hit or miss. It's a, it's a strain. It's a strain if you're not used to it, especially if you're a smaller contractor. Yeah. And then it's usually a couple large amounts after that till it's paid up and then you're literally riding until the audit's done and hopefully you get your money back. Okay. On a pay-as-you-go, you're literally paying it based on your payroll. So if your payroll is small this week, then your payment is also small. It's all based on the amount. So with the fluctuation of the amount of employees we have, based on the projects we have going on, it changes and it's easier to pay a little bit at a time as you go through and then when the audit comes in, you might have to pay a little bit more, you might actually still get money back. Yeah. But it's not as big of a demand on your finances. So yeah. that's a huge, huge, that was one of the main things I really liked. I would never go away from it again, honestly. And, and that's good, that's great for cash flow. Like you said, it streamlines it. Um, and a lot of times, if, if your effective date comes up in January or February and you're a contractor that works outdoors, sometimes that cash flow is not coming in. So those huge upfront, um, payments that you're talking about, a lot of guys that, that would struggle to do that sometimes. Oh, I, I dreaded it. I dreaded it because you don't almost have to like plan for it, but then the problem is you couldn't plan for it. Plus they're basing it on last year's payroll, which okay. may not be, you know, what this year's coming payroll is going to be. And it's also, if you had a large project last year, mm -hmm. you may not need that amount of money for this coming year, but you still have to pay it yeah. and hope you get it back. But now you're waiting till the following year to get it back. Mm -hmm. So this just eliminates a lot of them tying up your cash flow. I'm all about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think those are three pretty relevant topics, um, certainly in the construction industry anyway. Michelle, I want to thank you for taking the time coming to talk to us this morning. No problem. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> As always, uh, I, I enjoyed it. I look forward to, uh, to talking again soon. All right. Thank right. you. So I'm Brett from One Group's Construction Experts here in Syracuse, New York. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And if you found this useful and informative, please like and share. We really do appreciate it.